Death by PowerPoint is no more. Your multimedia presentations have some serious potential if you stick around. Hello world and welcome back to Vizme's Making Information Beautiful series. If we haven't met before, my name is Mike Ploger and today I'm hoping to change the way you view multimedia presentations. What is a multimedia presentation? Well, to put it simply, it's any presentation that uses various forms of communication to share a message. It could include pictures, videos, audio, or interactive elements like forms and pop-ups. We started to see these in the form of PowerPoint way back when, and unfortunately, not many people have broken away from the tired software. Multimedia presentations have evolved and become an excellent tool to share your ideas, but you must keep up with the trends and demands of audiences. In this video, I'm going to share five easy steps for creating multimedia presentations, show you seven proven examples, and give you a few tool recommendations for creating your own multimedia presentation to get started, although we highly recommend using Visme. By the end, you'll look at multimedia presentations in an entirely different light. So, shall we? To get started, we're going to cover the five simple steps you need to know for creating a multimedia presentation. The first step is to define the purpose of your presentation. In other words, why do you need to create one? Are you informing an audience on your area of expertise? Are you pitching a product to investors? Maybe you need to present data and information to coworkers or higher ups. There's countless reasons to want a multimedia presentation. So know your why ahead of time and build with it in mind. Once you have your content figured out, it's time to start considering the different mediums you can use for that content. This is what will make it a multimedia presentation. Want some ideas? Get out your pen and stick with me here. Here we go. Explainer videos, video clips, surveys, animated GIFs, pop-ups, interaction between slides, color-coded maps, Google Maps, animated charts, QR codes, Loom videos, sound effects, background music, embedded TED Talks, and that's just a handful of ideas. I encourage you to think outside the box and see what else you can come up with. Our third step is to utilize templates and easily add your content. If you're questioning where to find such templates, you need to log on to Visme's website. We have a library of multimedia presentation templates that are just begging for your content. Rather than start fresh, you simply plug in your material and the rest is practically done for you. Slides are organized into themes or libraries. You have modern, simple, or creative. Each comes with a library of slides with hundreds of options to choose from and use in your own presentation. There's slides for your title page, your introduction, diagrams, comparisons, testimonials, and more. Choose the slides you like and input your content you planned out earlier. Then adjust the slides to fit your branding. This includes your fonts, colors, and any logos that you have. It can be personal to you or fit the company that you work for. Then it's time to add the multimedia content. Now the fun part. Well, if you weren't already having fun. You should have a solid presentation at this point without any interactivity. So go back to your planning and start implementing the multimedia elements that you consider. One thing to note here is you don't want seven different types of multimedia content. Stick to two or three throughout the entire presentation. In other words, don't have audio on one slide, a video on the next, animation after that, and then background music kicks in. No, that's way overwhelming. Instead, use videos, but not on every slide. Space them out or let animated charts do their magic and grab the attention of viewers. You don't need a lot around them. Play around with it, just don't go overboard. You don't need a lot to wow your audience. Believe it or not, you're already at the finish line. Once you have your content designs and multimedia elements in place, you want to revise and make sure it all flows together in a cohesive presentation. Look at it from the viewer's point of view. If something feels off, note it and revisit it to correct any imperfections. Once you're 100% confident and comfortable, it's time to share. There's three options for interactive presentations that require live clicking it or filling in. You can embed the presentation into a website, share it with a live link, 
or download it as an HTML5 file. If there's no live interaction, you can download it as a video or editable PowerPoint template. Visme makes all this super easy to find and complete. Through Visme's shareable live link, you can track analytics on who watched it, for how long, and through what service. Another reason Visme's tools are some of the very best. Ready for some examples? If you're in need of inspiration, perhaps these will help. A GIF presentation style is a great place to start. In Visme, you can either search for GIFs using our Giphy integration, or you can create your own. Creating GIFs is a great way to visualize an instructional process. Choose GIFs that complement your message, not compete with it. Don't go overboard with your GIF use and stick with the same style of GIF throughout. You want to maintain visual consistency. A presentation style that can be easily turned into video is animation and narration. Creating animations isn't as difficult as you may think, and Visme has the tools to prove it. You can implement hundreds of moving characters and things and transitions to bring your presentation to life. Once you create your presentation with all the elements you like, simply record your voice over with each slide and download it as a video. Rather than animation, you can use real recorded video in a presentation next to slides, images, and charts, aka what I'm doing right now. These take more time, work, and editing, but can be effective. I mean, you tell me, are you learning anything here? Our channel features dozens of videos just like this if you're in need of more examples. When it comes to business reports, interactive charts are your best friends. You can create a chart that, as you scroll over a certain area, different data is given on the side. You can instantaneously compare multiple items with one another. Stop providing bullet points of information and make it easier for your audience by presenting interactive data. And if you want to spice it up a little bit, a little background music can help set the tone for the presentation as well. We've talked about video presentations, but that didn't include videos inside of presentations. If somebody has explained something better than you can, and there's a YouTube video of it, embed that YouTube video into one of your slides. You can add a small description next to the video as it won't take up the entire screen, if you so choose. It's really quite easy and it, don't worry, it won't take away from your professionalism. Prezi is a presentation software that allows you to navigate through a slide deck at your own will. Want to skip to the end? Well, you can do that. Want to hop around to various segments of a presentation because there's no real order? Well, you can do that too, and quite easily. With these presentations, you can zoom in or out and work your way around the presentation, however you would like. You can also create navigable menus in your Visme presentations and click around to different slides as you go. Our last example is great for those of you looking to embed in presentation into a blog post or website. Include a survey to get real-time answers and feedback on surveys and questions. Include with it an embedded PDF at the beginning to enlighten your audience before hitting them with the questions and results at the end. Before we go our separate ways, we wanted to give you a head start creating your own multimedia presentation by offering up five great software to help you create a unique presentation your audience will love. At the top of the list is Visme. After all, this is our list. With how easy to use our editor is and the number of integrations and features built in to help you, you can quickly and easily create an incredible presentation. If we haven't sold you in this video already, go to visme.com to give it a try yourself. Our next option for adding multimedia into your presentation would be Wistia. Wistia is a video hosting, management, and marketing software for businesses seeking more control in their video content. Their software makes it easy for you to produce video content that will engage audiences easier. Oh, and then once you want to put these videos into your presentations, Visme has a Wistia embedder. For multimedia presentations with surveys, Typeform is a software that you need. You can easily ask questions and actually get answers from your audience. The interactivity Typeform software provides is second to none. 
Our fourth option is Loom. Through this company, you can easily record videos of yourself or your computer screen and upload the videos into a presentation. This is a great way to showcase processes in an online software during your presentation. And our last and maybe most surprising option is Google Maps. Of course, this would be for presentations needing geographical integration. Visme has a Google Maps integration and a map engine. You can color code maps or input interactive pop-ups if you'd like. It's a great tool for displaying information on a region or a specific location. Like home, which is where I'm about to head back to right now. Thank you so much for watching. I truly hope I was able to help you one way or another today. And if I was, please help me by liking this video and maybe just maybe even subscribing to keep up with how I can help you in the future. Presentations and marketing and professional designs are all difficult endeavors for anyone really, but Visme has the answers and tips to help. Again, thank you for watching. Good luck on your next multimedia presentation with Visme. I'm Mike Ploger, helping you make information beautiful.